On April 10, 1912, the supposedly unsinkable RMS Titanic set sail from Southampton, England to New York City, but tragically, it met its demise after colliding with an iceberg, claiming over 1,500 lives. Fast forward to 2012, and a replica named Titanic II was announced, bringing both differences and similarities to the table. Let's dive into the details. The Titanic II, owned by the Blue Star Line, will depart from Dubai, United Arab Emirates, for its maiden voyage to New York City, following the same route as the original Titanic, which intersected with the iceberg. Afterward, it will make regular trips between New York and Southampton, England, just like the original ship. Clive Palmer's Blue Star Line has made sure to prioritize safety for all passengers on Titanic II, learning from the mistakes of the original crew by ensuring there are enough life jackets and boats on board. When the Titanic II replica was announced in 2012, people immediately started talking about the need for more lifeboats, and thankfully, this time safety is a priority with enough lifeboats for 2,700 people and additional life rafts for 800 more passengers. If Titanic the Seku replicates the original's prices, it will be quite expensive to take a trip, with the most costly first-class cabins costing about $100,000, while the cheapest class of tickets, like Jack Dawson's, would have been around $350, $900. In the upcoming Titanic II, class distinctions will still be present, with smaller, more affordable rooms for third-class passengers and luxurious accommodations for those in first class. There is even a possibility for passengers to experience all class options, allowing them to understand the different privileges and challenges faced by each class. The construction of the Titanic II is estimated to cost $500 million, a staggering amount compared to the original Titanic's cost of $7.5 million in 1912, which would be equivalent to around $180 million today. The Titanic II will be constructed with nearly identical specifications as the original Titanic, accommodating up to 2,400 passengers and 900 crew members, with 835 cabins and replicas of the ship's restaurants, dining rooms, and the famous Parisian Café. Titanic II will have a safety deck located between decks C and D housing modern lifeboats, while the boat deck above will showcase replicas of the original lifeboats for display purposes only. The construction of the safety deck required the lowering of decks D and below and the lifting of the superstructure, eliminating the need for a lookout and incorporating new escape staircases into the boiler exhaust uptakes. The Titanic II will feature diesel-electric propulsion systems with four diesel-generating sets, powering three azimuth thrusters and two bow thrusters, while the space previously occupied by steam engines and coal-fired boiler rooms will be utilized for crew quarters and ship systems. The Titanic II will feature a bulbous bow for improved fuel efficiency and observation decks in the funnels, designed to resemble the original as closely as possible. The replica of Titanic II will not have a shear like the original, as it was a cosmetic feature that made construction more difficult and costly. Instead, the ship will have an upwards rake added to the sea deck at the bow and stern, creating a superficial appearance with a wedge-shaped gap between decks C and D. To enhance stability, the Titanic II will feature stabilizers and an active tank system, 
while anti-iceberg upgrades such as a welded hull and modern navigation equipment will ensure durability and minimize the chances of unexpected encounters. Passengers on the original Titanic enjoyed a heated pool and the Titanic II will have a similar pool with porthole windows, although its size may pose a challenge for accommodating all passengers. The gym on the original Titanic had various exercise machines like an electric camel, an electrical horse, cycling machines, and rowing machines, all of which will be a part of the Titanic II. Additionally, passengers will also have the option to use a squash or racquetball court for an extra charge, similar to the original Titanic where an hour on the court cost two shillings or 50 cents, which today would be around 13 dollars USD. The Titanic II will feature a replicated smoke room, similar to the one on the original ship, but it remains uncertain whether it will be exclusive to men. Thomas Andrews, the ship's designer, was last seen in the smoke room, as depicted in the movie Titanic, reflecting his despair over designing a flawed ship before ultimately perishing with it. Additionally, the Titanic II will include a replicated Titanic bridge purely for aesthetic purposes. The interior designs and decorations of the Titanic II aim to closely resemble the original ship, with Tilburg Design of Sweden creating models that replicate the original interiors, albeit with veneers instead of wooden paneling to meet current fire regulations. The construction of the Titanic II is taking place in China, where the shipyard is facing the challenge of building its first major passenger vessel. The construction of Titanic II in a Chinese shipyard without a dry dock means that the ship will be side-launched from a 200 meter slipway, making it the largest side-launched vessel in history and requiring the shipyard to expand its facilities. The Titanic II will offer modern conveniences like air conditioning, but will maintain the romance of the original ship by not having television or internet and providing passengers with early 20th century style clothes and undergarments. Clive Palmer, an eccentric billionaire known for his outrageous publicity stunts and failed business ventures, is the man behind the Titanic II project which may just be another one of his ambitious announcements that never come to fruition. Critics argue that the commercialized replica of Titanic II is deemed insensitive and a mockery of the memory of those who perished, with Cunard Line, the owner of White Star Line Legacy, stating that they do not view the replica as appropriate. After facing financial difficulties and delays, the construction of Titanic II was postponed multiple times, but it is now set to recommence with a new launch date in 2022. Clive Palmer's Titanic II project should not be mistaken for the Chinese Titanic replica, which is a stationary attraction at a resort in the Sichuan province. The Titanic Museums in Branson, Missouri and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, offer a glimpse into the front half of the original ship, showcasing a collection of rotating artifacts, including a survivor's cane and recovered life jackets. However, the majority of the ship's items have been lost to the ocean, as the elements in the water have gradually deteriorated the actual ship. Passengers and crew on the Titanic II may have the opportunity to don vintage costumes from the early 20th century, adding to the historical experience of the voyage. The Blue Star Line has gone all out to ensure an authentic experience on Titanic II, with the ship featuring the same restaurants, 
dining rooms, and antique decor as the original, along with saunas, pools, and a Turkish bathhouse. If sailing on the Titanic II doesn't sound appealing, you can still visit the original shipwreck and experience the Titanic's former glory, although it comes with a high price tag and a long dive to reach the 12,500-foot depth. Clive Palmer, the mastermind behind Titanic II, acknowledges that any ship can sink if it has a hole in it, unlike the overconfident character Cal from the movie who believed the ship was unsinkable. The designers and engineers of Titanic II are determined to take all necessary precautions to prevent the ship from sinking and ensure the safety of its passengers. Due to the UK's decision to leave the EU, Clive Palmer's Australian cruise company, the Blue Star Line, had to relocate their planned European office from London to Paris, causing a delay in its launch until March 2019. The Titanic II will match the original's top speed of 24 knots, equivalent to about 27 or 28 Maimwitter, with a larger rudder and a modern diesel engine replacing the steam boilers. The Titanic II will feature propellers mounted in azipods or pods that can steer on a vertical and azimuthal axis, similar to the original Titanic's three-bladed outer propellers and four-bladed centerline propeller. According to an interview in 2013, Palmer revealed his plan to travel in third class on the Titanic II, mirroring the significant number of transatlantic voyages made by passengers in third class, also known as steerage, due to its location deep in the ship's hull. The Titanic II may be getting a special upgrade with a helipad on the aft deck, although it may not be as visible to the public as it is on other luxury liners. The Titanic II will have a unique lower deck called the Safety Deck, which will include a casino, hospital, theater, and shops, offering a different experience from modern luxury ships that can accommodate thousands of passengers at once. The Titanic II may have advanced features for navigating through objects in the water, but it is still susceptible to icebergs due to the increased iceberg discharge caused by climate change. <laughs>